Hello and welcome to my Macquations TV YouTube channel. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification too. Every single time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to get notified. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to cut and sew an off shoulder blouse with exaggerated sleeve. Okay, this style. So, I've ruled out my basic body measurements and I've labeled it out. Okay, shoulder line, bust point line, under bust line, and my waist line. If you have not watched my video on how I drafted this, I'm going to put a link down below. So now I'm marking out my um, off shoulder line where I want my off shoulder to start from, and I marked 5.5. So that's that will be my starting line. So now I'm going to I'm going to um, measure my arm hole. I'm going to start from the shoulder line and uh, mark my arm hole, which is my arm hole is actually um, 8.5, but because it's an off shoulder blouse, so I made it 8 inches. Okay, so I'm going to label it my chest line. So this is starting point here. My starting line. So next, I'm going to. Um, be taking my nipple to nipple measurement and I'm going to be marking it on my pattern paper. So my nipple to nipple measurement is 4 inches, um, 3.5 actually, so I mark 3.5 from my um, bust point all the way to my waistline. Sorry, my line was not so straight, that's why I Wasn't so straight, so I had to correct it. All right. So guys, now I'm going to be marking um, half inch towards the bust area and 1.5 inches towards the um, side. So this is it, half inch here and 1.5 inches here, making it two inches. So half inch here too and 1.5 inches here. So now I'm going to connect the points together like so. Alright, now from my boss point line, I'm going to measure half inch and I'm going to mark it like so. Then I'm going to connect it from here, from the um, under boss to my boss point like so. All right, I'm using my curve ruler to connect it. So, guys, at this upper part, this starting point here, I measured 3.5 inches here. So, I'm going to measure 4.5. I added one inch to the top, so I'm going to rule a straight line, connect it to the first point. So, remember, this upper part, I, I added one inch. So it's so I'm marking out 1.5 and half inch just like what I did at the underboss line. So doing that, it's going to um, give the chest area a very very nice fitting, like a balanced fitting. If you try it, when you try it, just come back and let me know in the comment section. Okay, so this is an updated version of how to draft an off shoulder blouse. So the kind of fitting it will give your blouse, the kind of fitting to give your blouse. When you try, just let me know, okay? Just let me know in the comment section down below. So let's move, let's move forward. I'm going to measure this, what I have here from here to the first point. And um, I'm also going to measure what I have here. So I realized that they are not the same, so I had to add about um, three quarter of an inch to it. So, um, it's going to be exactly the same with this other part. So now I want to take my sweetheart neck. I'm going to I want to draft the sweetheart neck pattern. So I just measured 1.5 for my starting line, and I wrote it like so. So guys, the next thing I'm going to be doing is to take my um, horizontal measurement now so I'm taking my first measurement divided by four I added this half inch and also the one inch I used to join together so that's it then 
my seam allowance of 1.5 inches so I added all my allowances to it so the waist um, line the waist divided by 4 I added um, 2 inches then 1 inch I will use to it together plus my 1.5 inches seam allowance so everything is now in place I'm going to rule it as you can see the line is not straight but by the time I join this part together um, the shape of the blouse is going to come out well so now I'm going to take my chest measurement you can measure what you have on the chest of your client or um, your chest okay so it's usually from 10 inches to 13 inches at most so I measured what I have there and I had 10 inches I divided it by 2 added half inch for seam allowance and also added the 3 inches that I took out here so now I'm going to go down by half of an inch at this point here I'm going to connect it to this point here now um, the reason why I went down by, by half inch is because here at this point I'm going to come down by half of an inch to give my um, off shoulder neck that sweet that look with that um, neckline so all right so now we are done with drafting this pattern I'm going to um, go I'm going to start drafting on my back pattern now now I'm going to mark my zip allowance of um, 1.5 inches my zip allowance 1.5 inches so all my allowances like I'm adding everything to this pattern paper so I wouldn't need to start adding any um, extra allowances for my fabric so I'm extending my lines the only line I wouldn't put on this back pattern is my under bust so um, I extended the lines, my starting point, chest line, um, and the waistline, post point two. So I'm taking my nipple to nipple measurement of 4 inches. So for my bust point, I'm going to go down by 1 inch, and I'm going to connect it like so. At this point, I'm taking half inch, marking half inch on both sides, and I'm going to connect it to this point. So remember, I took um, half inch, um, 3.5 inches for my nipple to nipple measurement. That's because I'm still going to add half inch seam allowance to it when I'm cutting it out. So on this neckline, I'm taking my 5.5 inches that I took for the front. Then my bust point, I'm just going to measure my bust divided by four and add. 1.5 inches so I'm going to connect it to the first point like so I'm not going to go down by half inch so I'm going to take my waist measurement which is 36 divided by 4 plus 1.5 inches plus 1 inch alright the 1 inch for the dart I will put 5 inches for my seam allowance so we are done with the back pattern one more thing to um, eliminate zip bulges, I'm going to measure one inch from the zip allowance part here, then I'm going to connect it to the side like so. So for my um, neckline, I went down by about two inches then I connected it to, to this point here so it depends on you depends on the kind of neckline you are um, cutting you can make it a v-shape you can make it u-shape neckline that's for the back or you can make it for color so now I'm going to cut out my pattern and watch how I'm going to cut So at this point you have to be very very careful because that bust point line has to be straight 
that's why I'm carefully cutting it out like this. It has to be straight from the bust point to um, this point here. Okay, it has to be straight. I'm going to show you when I'm done. I'm going to show you what I'm so this part here, this part here has to be very straight. Okay. So let's keep on cutting. We are done cutting and this is how um, it looks. I'm going to be using this lace fabric for my off shoulder blouse and I'm going to base it with this champion gold um, satin fabric. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my um, pattern to cut out the parts I'll be needing for the off shoulder blouse. So this is one part of it. I'm going to cut it now and just add half inch to um, this part here and the super part. So I'm just going to be adding half inch to um, those parts here too. Added half inch. I want to show you how um, the center front should look like. So as you can see, these places, um, the two sides are straight. Now this is the back pattern. I've cut it out now. I didn't add any allowance to it. I just added a little to the top. Now I'm going to be using these pieces of satin fabric to cut out my lace. The patterns I'll be using for. Um, Lace, okay. I'm going to put it out now. So I've cut it, and um, this is it. I've cut out the um, lace, the satin, and also the lining. I'll be using in turn. Okay, now I'm going to go over to my machine and do all the necessary joining. I added my um, interface to it, and I didn't, I didn't. Um, show you guys i'm going to do a tutorial on how to attach your interface to it to your off shoulder blouse okay now this is it i've joined it together i added my interface to it and um but i've not turned it with lining yet just attach my interface to it and join so I ironed both the inside and also the outside though I've not done the final ironing yet but as you can see it's already looking beautiful even the upper part I was trying to explain you can see the fitting even even though the person um, has not put it on yet you see the fitting is already giving shape at that upper part a balanced shape to be precise so um that's just the reason why um you should use that updated method to cut out your off shoulder pattern okay so i've joined the lining together and i'm going to use it to turn my the front part of my blouse and i'm also going to attach the zip to it I'm going to attach the zip and um, sew so that together so i've done that attach the zip and i've already i've already joined the line to it i'm now going to turn it i joined it by the side so I'm giving it a notch at the middle part and I'm going to turn it down and iron it out. I'm going to go press the upper part now, the neckline. I'm going to do all the necessary pressing, and this is it. I've pressed it. So
so the um blouse is coming out well and um I want to take my horizontal ah, can you see this can you see this neckline can you see the, the way it's balanced guys anyway so I realized that um after joining together my chest measurement or the chest measurement that I have on this piece of um material is already too wide so I want to um trim trim off the excess. So I'm going to measure eleven inches. Remember my neckline is ten inches so I'm marking I'm put placing my tape rule on it and I'm going to um mark eleven inches so I'm trimming out the excess so I'm I'm making sure they are even they are of the same measurement so I'm going to trim I'm trimming it out to the um old part. now um i'm satisfied with the chest measurement now i want to take my um horizontal measurements and go join it together I'm going to cut out the sleeve for the off shoulder blouse so this is the style we are making and um just a straight sleeve actually so I'm placing my tape rule directly at the midpoint of the center front okay I may have measured the person's shoulder circumference and I um the, the shoulder circumference divided by four you place it directly on the midpoint of the center front so whatever i have left on on this part here is what i'm going to be using as my sleeve measurement so for the sleeve i'm going to be using 4.5 inches for the wideness of the sleeve okay now i've cut out the sleeve I'm going to be using, like I said earlier, is just a straight sleeve. I'm going to be attaching um, a kind of exaggerated sleeve to the um, this straight piece here. This is it, and um, what I have here is about 10 inches, 10.5 inches, because I added half inch seam allowance to it. Okay. Um. I'm trying to make them equal so one side won't end up falling off. I want to confirm if um, my if what I have here is corresponding to my shoulder circumference measurement. So I'm going to place my tape on the blouse like so. Divide your circumference, shoulder circumference measurement by four and place it at the exact midpoint of the center front okay so what I have left here is what I'm going to be measuring so look I have four inches here I'm going to join it like so
I'm still trying to confirm my measurements if everything is accurate. So remember, this is an off shoulder blouse, and the um, neckline and the shoulder part must stay in place. It mustn't be too tight, and it mustn't be falling off. So I'm confirming my measurements to make sure everything is accurate. So I'm going to join it um, to the blouse. This is it. I've joined it together and this is how my off shoulder blouse is looking like already. I'm going to um, be attaching the sleeve to it now. The um, design of the sleeve. So you can actually leave it like this if this is what you want. So I'm going to be using an organza fabric for the sleeve to create the exaggerated sleeve and um, um, this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.